I think we've got a very strong contender for one of the best Atmos tracks of all time right here with Twister. I literally just finished watching this. I'm filming this video like 11 o'clock at night, but I had to sit down and film the review immediately after watching it because it was just such a great experience on 4K. So for me, believe it or not, I've actually never seen the film Twister. This was my first experience with it. And I've seen clips and I know what the movie's all about. And you know, there's the famous lines and famous scenes. I've seen them, but it was one of those movies that I just never sat down and watched start to finish. And it's funny because growing up, I went to Universal Studios in Florida quite a bit. My grandparents had a house in the Orlando area. And I distinctly remember being there at five, six, seven years old. So this would have been 97, 98, 99, all the years after Twister came out. And that Twister ride at Universal Studios was a huge deal. The promotional material was everywhere for it because it was the new ride, the new movie. And I just somehow missed actually ever seeing the movie. So I got to sit down and enjoy this for the first time ever in 4K. It was just such an amazing experience from the jump where we flash back or, you know, I don't even, it's not a flashback. It's the first scene in the movie, 1967, I think it was. And they're showing Jo uh, essentially with her, her father and her mother. And there's a huge tornado ripping through. And right from the jump, the sound on this was incredible. From the opening scene, I was like, okay, I'm buckled up right now because this is gonna sound great. And the bass, my subwoofers were cranking, there's sound literally spinning all around you. It was just such an immersive, incredible experience. I mean, I, I've listened to a lot of Atmos tracks and watched a lot of movies with Dolby Atmos. And this just, I had to sit down and talk about it because it just simply, one of the best that I've experienced that really makes full use of that Atmos upgrade. Like it, it really does take it to the next level. And I'm just, you know, I'm not even comparing this to the Blu-ray, right? Because I haven't watched it on Blu-ray. I'm comparing this to other great Atmos 4K discs. And this stands right up there with the best of the best. And I think the movie is a ton of fun too. Like not having seen it, I honestly wasn't sure what to expect. I thought it might take place over kind of a longer time period, but you're basically having this film take place within 24 hours. We got twister after twister, tornado after tornado, uh, iconic lines, iconic characters. Philip Seymour Hoffman's a ton of fun. Obviously Bill Paxton, Helen Hunt are amazing. It's a really great fast paced, just in your face action movie. And yeah, I mean, is it, it, it kind of borders on cheesy and entertaining, but it's, kind of what I love about movies from this time period. I thought it was just pure entertainment. Like it's it's one of those, it's a cliche, but like they just don't make movies like this anymore. We'll see what Twisters looks like. But I, I love that we're bringing back sort of that just in your face action, like Top Gun is that way. And then Top Gun Maverick was just like, yeah, we're not gonna try to do like some serious prequel or get really dark. Like we're just gonna have fun again. And hopefully Twisters does the same thing that Twister did, which is let's just have fun. Let's just be entertaining. Let's just have great characters and amazing moments on the screen for two hours and just forget about, you know, critical reception, any of that stuff. Forget about it. It's entertaining. It's a popcorn movie and it was a ton of fun to watch. I'll give Warner Brothers props too on the visuals for this pretty tight 4K transfer here. I mean, it, it was shot on 35 millimeter. Um, some of the moments that stand out as, I, I wouldn't call them rough, it's just a nature of you have this great 35 millimeter scan and then some uh, admittedly very dated CGI. And those moments will stand out to you and you'll you know kind of roll your eyes at like, hey, that was the technology back then. But the stuff that was shot on film, it, it just has a real um, authentic, filmic look and feel to it. There's really, really tight grain, um, but it's detail. Obviously they went back and most likely to a negative, scanned this again. Um, definitely HDR, the color grade on it was amazing. I thought, you know, the uh, highlights, you know, some of the green, the, the cornfields, just some of the grass, some of the landscapes. Um, obviously the, the truck, Bill's truck, the red Dodge Ram truck, huge standout moment. Um, and I thought it was really great when things got darker. And I, I believe I had heard from people who have seen this on Blu-ray that there, there was a kind of a weird tint over all of it. I, I believe that was Twister, um, but there's none of that here. It's very uh, realistic looking. And even when it does get dark and, you know, they, they don't get kind of weird with any tints. It's just 
it's well, it's really well balanced uh, on the color side. And when those tornadoes rip through and stuff starts to get dark, I mean, the, the detail is still there. It looks great. I mean, it's just a great overall 4K experience. I mean, this is, this is what I love about this format uh, for people like me and younger people and people who just haven't experienced movies before. And I talk about this all the time. Like if you've never seen Jaws, then if you can't see it with some pristine 35 millimeter scan in a theater, watch it on 4K disc. And like for me, I've never seen Twister and I'm so happy that the first time I saw it was on 4K because this is just an awesome, awesome release. And it was such a treat to get it, you know, basically at its highest quality. Like I, I say this a lot, but in 1996, this technology didn't exist. The theaters, what you were seeing in theaters, even if they had 35 millimeter reels that were fairly new, even after the second, third, fourth, fifth watch, those were getting degraded over time, unless you had that pristine first viewing. And even then, without HDR color and everything else that's been added, I, I don't know that you would have had a better experience than uh, what you can get here at home. I mean, I'd love to see this movie if there are 70 millimeter, because I know they blew up a few of the 35s to 70. If that's ever out there, I would love to go see it in 70 millimeter. But this is truly, you know, I, I can't imagine it looks much better than this, really. I mean, obviously there's those moments and there's some, you know, green screen kind of CGI, rough mid nineties computer graphics. But outside of that, which, you know, you can't fix, you can't control unless you go full George Lucas and start changing things, which I'm not a fan of, keep it authentic. This is as good as it gets. Really quick for you on the packaging too. This has the slip cover here with the infamous cow moment um which is one of the scenes that i knew and when it finally i got to see it in the movie i was very happy i saw it um, but the slip cover and here's the back open up the case same on the inside and all you're getting here is just the 4k disc there's no blu-ray there is a digital code that will redeem in 4k and quickly on the features there's a new uh featurette called the legacy of twister which is uh taken by the wind with director jen debont uh, discussing the groundbreaking film. And then there's um, a commentary from the director and visual effects supervisor, Stefan Fangmeier, which I think, or Fangmeier, however you say the name, um, which I haven't had a chance to listen to yet, but would be really interesting, especially on the visual effects side. And then a few featurettes called Chasing the Storm, Twister Revisited, Anatomy of a Twister, and HBO First Look, The Making of Twister, as well as the Van Halen Humans Being uh, music video. So overall, a really great release here from Warner Brothers. I'm sure if you're a fan of this film and it's one that you've watched over and over and over again, this will be super enjoyable. Uh, if you're like me, and you're watching it for the first time, it will certainly be a revelation. I'm glad that I've crossed this off my list now. I'm glad I watched it for the first time in 4K in this high quality format. It was an awesome experience. And if you've got the Atmos set up, um, you know, even, even if you just have a 5.1 or whatever, I think you'll have a really good time. But if you have Atmos and you've invested, I now have the two subwoofers in my system, which we're cranking. This is gonna be one of those reference demo discs you could put on multiple scenes in this movie and explain to people why you've invested so much in your home theater or hey why do you have 11 speakers that's kind of crazy well you know what let me pull out twister and let me show you you know why is your subwoofers why do you have four subwoofers in there that you know so big let's open twister and go to the opening literally the opening scene of the film and i'll show you why like it's that good so if you want to pick up twister this one's going to be available from warner brothers um you can get it from groove.com you can get it from amazon i'll put links in the video description if you buy it through there that helps support my channel so i appreciate that and as always make sure you subscribe here on youtube for all the latest in 4k and physical media reviews make sure you check out my podcast house of a thousand movies i've appreciated all the support but i'd love to see more of you on spotify apple here on youtube checking those episodes out letting me know what you think make sure you check out my merch store as well i get some really cool stuff going there and of course follow me on social media instagram twitter facebook you name it i'm everywhere and that's a great way to get in touch and dm me to ask questions or just talk so all those links are in the video description as well you can also scan the qr code right here if you're watching on a tv pull out your phone scan that it'll get you to everything you need that's related to my channel so thank you for watching this video thank you to warner brothers for sending this one over early so i can get a review out for you but trust me this is worth every penny it's one of those movies that home theater systems uh and loud speakers and subwoofers were built for it's simply one of the best atmos tracks that 
I've had the, the joy to experience and I can't wait for you guys to experience it as well. So that's it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you all soon.